Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, in this lecture, I'd like to make a um, roundabout or traffic circle uh, similar to this one I just made a few minutes ago. Um, what we need to have a multiple alignment to, uh, to create an intersection so we can put a roundabout in here. So let's go ahead and start with a new, um, a new file. And in here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make myself an alignment up here first make 26 station that way I have it for reference um, so let's go to uh, uh, home tab from home tab go to create alignment from create alignment creation tool this will open up and let's make it a, just put a name and it says this one's gonna be a test one for now and uh, with the default is good and from, from this window also we've been through this before you can watch my other lecture we're gonna click in the uh, um, this arrow on the left side and they go with the tangent uh, with curve so I'm going to go ahead right here and click the alignment and whoops come on keep going make it a little bit smaller so I can fit 20 station in here click enter see how many station I got here 22 that's perfect now I want this to be basically width of my page. This just for my own reference. You don't have to have to do this. So now let's go ahead and create a uh, two intersecting alignment. I'm going to come up here, go from home tab, create alignment, alignment creation tool. This time we're going to call this one Old Bay Road. and uh, go with the default again hit the same one tangent with curve i'm going to start uh, from here click come up here and go up right here come back down here come back here click enter so this is my first alignment now i'm going to make another alignment so go back the same way from the home tab hit alignment alignment creation tool this time I'm going to name it Alton Road and go with the default click OK and click the drop down arrow tangent with curve so I'm going to come in in this angle right here go diagonal over here stop right there and make a curve Come back this way, click it, and go across, hit enter. All right. So close out of here. Now we just may make something like that for yourself. And then come, let's put a circ traffic roundabout right here at this intersection. So go to Home Tool again. From there, come up, hit Intersection. From the intersection, click on Create Roundabout. Now, when you click Create Roundabout, you're not going to get this window if it's the first time you have used this. So what you might get is, you're going to get this right here. Let me bring this up. You end up with the, if a first time around, you end up with this window. Okay, so, and this is where you have to make your choice, depend on which country you want to use the library, of which country from Australia, uh, British, and Norwegian, Italian, and here we're using the United States uh, uh, standard. So come in up here, and when you click on United States standard, click the plus sign. And when you click the plus sign, you can see the Federal Highway. Uh, and in the Federal Highway Administration, they have a number of uh, standards. I'm going to use the 2010, uh, the uh, standard of 2010. In this one, I'm going to use go ahead and use a uh, uh, triple. So make sure once you get that in you, you can go ahead and proceed. Once you set this up in you, then you can click OK. Then you're going to come up to this window. And once you get to this window, we can go ahead and uh, take care of it. So we're going to name the, our roundabout Alton Circle. Let's see if I can spell. And you only come down here and it tell you what standard we used 
and if you want to change the standard you can click this uh, right here again like we did before and it says uh, uh, the uh, minimum of the radius got to be like uh, uh, I mean diameter 200 let's make that a 250 feet then uh, rest of them are uh, default and down here in the circle three lane make three lanes okay down here you can make your own changes you go ahead and practice many times as you want and change the color code and you know you can come in here and actually make a different color for the line you know don't be afraid to uh, uh, experiment that's how you learn so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the light color for dark background and I leave these uh, just the way they are and defined and you can click this if you want then hit OK all right let's zoom in a little bit all right I'm going to put your uh, cross right at the center center of your circle should be where exactly the uh, uh, where you have the two alignment crossing so I'm going to click right there now remember once you have done this uh, you're still in a command mode look at my cursor it has a square to it now if you move that to each one of the alignment you want to go ahead and uh, uh, create the uh, uh, approach so I'm going to click on this alignment right here see it when it lights, it lights up once it lights up right this click it come on let me get it myself there and once you do that and then it give you it says name uh, arm one old bear road and then you have all kind of uh, 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 information you can fill in here um, approaching lane I want to say I'm gonna have three lane approaching okay and then lane width I'm gonna make each lane again at a minimum of 11 and a half feet 11.5 and then the departure I can use yes leave it as two lane but make it 11.5 and again depend on the spec and where you're working and let's click OK and this is your basically uh, your departure your uh, entrance and your departure and we're going to do the same thing with all uh, three lanes right here so let's do it right here click on this arm coming in and uh, make two lane coming in that's fine have two lane going on I'm going to make it 11.5 there also 11.5 right here and click OK and there it is I'm gonna have a departure here let's see if I can make three lanes so I'm gonna click on this alignment right there and I'm gonna have in uh, three lanes entering at 11.5 and two lane exiting the circle at 11.5 and click OK you notice that uh, this one because of the curve they had to it came more close like this one that's pretty cool and next one I'm gonna do is right here click on this one right there this alignment and let's go to to 11.5 actually I like let's make a three lane lane 11.5 and make it uh, three lane going out at 11.5 okay let's click OK there we go and there it is and you can make it depend how you have your alignment well I, well, I did it on purpose here to put a curve in here to let you know that when you do that the program is so incredibly smart it will make an adjustment to it so while we're here uh, let's just click on this Once you click on it and you highlight everything, you can see that your ribbon up here is changing. And from here, go to a roundabout property, click on that, and hit roundabout property. And then you're gonna have these uh, um, um, two window open up. If you come up here, hit general right there, and it will basically, it shows you the picture of the uh, roundabout. And all the information that you have here if you want to make any changes here you can make any changes and go ahead and click on all of them and the runabout and if I hit the plus button you can see all kind of stuff in there the, for example the dimension 
if I click on here it says the center island diameter is 109 if I click on it and that's a 190 I can make a change right here for example go ahead and change it make it back to 200 and now you change right that to 200 and then if you click on uh, uh, that's 200 now click on that one that's your apron width and you can make change if you wanted to then you can go into for example the one of the uh, uh, roadway that coming into the old bay roadway arm one and you can click the approach and you have uh, it will tell you what they are right there and entry you can make I mean you can have fun with this really if you spend some time in here um, and it give you even analysis here you can put a turn arrow in right there if you want um, I'm going to apply that uh, minimum uh, offset from the side that's fine distance crosswalk length width apply and you can go on to the second arm if you want for example down here and expand it and you can have the same thing and this is slip frame so we can when you close out of here and uh, let me hit escape you can make all the changes that you want a lot of changes and you can have just have fun with it let me see what the trademark marking for there it is right here but anyway this is how it is i hope you liked it uh subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like it thank you